This building is going to collapse. Jesus. That's what someone said when they sent this video to me. I looked at it. The workmanship looked neat. But they were concerned that there were no beams. Beams help transfer the load from the slab onto the columns. From the decking to the pillar, you know. Now, let me explain something very important. Okay. The absence of visible beams doesn't mean the structure is wrong. There's something called a flat plate slab system. It is a widely used structural design approved under Nigerian and British standards. In this system, the reinforced concrete slab transfers its load directly to the columns. No beams in between. That's the whole point. It saves on headroom, simplifies your electrical and plumbing runs, and gives a cleaner interior look. But it must be properly designed. The structural engineer calculates slab thickness, reinforcement, punching shear around columns, deflection limits, everything. These are not guesswork decisions. Now, is this foolproof? No. Nothing in construction is. If they got the calculations wrong or use substandard materials, then yes, problems can arise. I said it! But from what I saw, the layout shows signs of an intentional flat plate design system. If you are ever worried, air your consent, yes, very important. But you can actually walk up to the sides. Ask any structural engineer, we gladly explain. Just be ready for technical overload. So next time you see a slab with no beams, don't panic, just ask questions. If they don't have a structural engineer that designed and is supervising that project, run. Take photos and report to your city's building control. I've been for See you on the next one.